Hello everybody, I'm going to be creating a art journal page for you. I'm using the Prima Marketing Mixed Media book. I love this uh, when using or when doing uh, art journal pages because the paper is really thick and it holds the mediums really, really well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a coat of white gesso. You can use clear if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter because the pages are already white. Uh, I have done a page in the past and I did not add any uh, gesso to it or prep it in any way and I, it was a watercolor uh, page and I will have a link to that video in the upper right hand corner uh, and the colors were so vibrant on the page and I just was really impressed with the paper just in itself. Um, but anyways, I am now adding some light paste with a stencil and this is a Echo Park stencil I believe. I love this stencil and um, I like light paste because it's a little bit more airy and it dries a little bit quicker and it holds up to the mediums a little bit or the like sprays and water a little bit better than modeling paste I found. So after the uh, light paste dries I am adding just a very light coat of heavy gesso and it's not I'm not trying to get every area or anything like that I like the variation when I put the color down when uh, there is a little bit of gesso and some of the light paste showing because the uh, spray reacts differently to both so that's why I did that just to give it a little bit more interest so I love doing this when I'm wanting to stamp uh, on my art journal pages. In the end, I cover it up, but I wanted to share it with you guys because if I would have thought about uh, how I was going to do it, it would have worked really well. Uh, but then I decided that I didn't like how it was turning out. So I end up, ended up covering it up. But like I said, I like... Uh, using tissue paper and stamping on the tissue paper with either stays on ink or some sort of archival ink that isn't going to smudge when you uh, put the sprays down or put gesso on it or anything like that. And I'm using 3D matte gel to adhere that uh, tissue paper down. And I like doing this because I can uh, change my mind. Like I didn't realize that I wanted to use a stamp uh, when I started putting down the light paste and trying to stamp on the light paste and trying to get a crisp image um, and the whole image would be impossible. So this is a good way if you end up wanting to um, add a focal point stamped image to your project. Um, so you just use some tissue paper and this is it's just uh, like dollar store tissue paper. It's nothing special. So I added uh, a little bit of um, uh, 3D matte gel on top of it so that it adhered and it, you know, it's, I'm trying to make it flush with the whole page. So I'm adding a little, I added a little bit of gesso around it as well. And then I added a little bit of water and it, it's dry now. So after it dried, I'm adding a little bit of water and then now I'm adding my sprays and I am actually using Lindy's stamp sprays I don't think they're the company is called Lindy's stamp gang anymore I think it's just Lindy's uh, anyways I believe it's turbine teal and avocado green I took them off of my desk uh, I will of course have all of the links down below to all of these supplies that I used but I love these colors together and I think when I first started making this page, I knew I had an idea of just using these colors. I didn't really have an idea of how I wanted the, the page to be. It's really simple, nothing, you know, too fancy or, you know, too many techniques or anything like that. I just felt I needed um, to do a page. So <laughs> I didn't have too long to do one. So I didn't, um, you know, do too much uh different techniques and layers and things. So I felt the star was kind of blending into the background too much. So I stamped the um, 
the stamp on the tissue paper again and then now I'm adding it again to the um, page and now I'm adding some crackle paste this is white crackle paste this is just so that it blends in with the whole page and so you don't see that it is an actual like a stamped image that I put on after if that makes sense so I wanted it just to kind of blend in with the whole page and I put the crackle paste around the star and then also kind of blended it out a little bit on and put it on the sides I love how it turned out with all the cracks and um, all of the different texture on the page so I'm just going in and adding a little bit more color and again I will have the links to the colors that I used down below I love these colors together super pretty so I am drying the whole page completely and I'm going in with a Finnebear stamp. You can get these for like a dollar, dollar seventy, I believe, somewhere around there. They're really cheap and I have a whole lot of them um, and I love using them to add uh, texture uh, to my projects. As you could see, it needed something else on the page. So th this is like a script um, stamp. It's really, really neat. So I use some stays on ink to add that to the page. And I can't remember what color this is. I wish I didn't move them off my desk and I need to get this done. <laughs> um, I will have, again, I will have all of the links down below. I felt it needed a little bit more depth uh, to the page. So that's why I'm adding the darker color. And then this is where I realized that I wanted the star to be a little bit more prominent on the page. I felt again it was just just blending in uh, to the whole page and I wish I would have done the tissue paper completely after I was done with adding all of my colors and my stamping and everything like that because then uh, it would have been it would have stood out a little bit more and honestly I was being lazy and I didn't want to do the stamping again so I just added the star it was on my desk uh, it's a barnyard star from Prima and what I'm doing here is I am taking my heat gun and I what I like to do is I heat where I'm putting the gesso if it's metal or if I if it's like a bright color that I'm trying to cover up because it makes the gesso a little bit tacky and it adheres to whatever I am trying to put the gesso on a little bit better if that makes sense so I'm just adding some color dabbing a little bit off and I think now I'm going to add some splatters with the uh, distress spray in picket fence I love this to add splatters to my projects and let's see Oh yes, I decided that I wanted the star to be uh, a little bit sparkly, so I added some Sparks paint, and I believe it is mermaid hair, I want to say. I did add some vintage silk wax to some of the areas, like the outer areas and some of the raised texture on the page, just to add a little bit more shimmer to that is going to complete this page for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out my website. The link is down below. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.